favorite question of mine, beautiful question. And 4 into 230 plus x, the whole square is 8686 dash 4. Brilliant. If you square this, and you have a multiple of 4 square, that means this will be 4 square into 230 plus x, the whole square. You have a number that's a multiple of 4, and you square that. So that will be a multiple of 16. Brilliant. 4 square is 16. I have a number that's a multiple of 4. If I square it, it will be a multiple of 16. If I have a number that's a multiple of 3, if I square it, it will be a multiple of 9. That much I know. So, this number is a multiple of 16. Or, our number 8686A4 is a multiple of 16. It is 16 into something. It's a multiple of 16. It is definitely a multiple of 8. Or, I know this number 6A4 is a multiple of 8. Nice. And so, if I, if I multiply this number by something, I should get 6A4. And so, 8 into something with no reminder, I should get 6A4. So, 600 and 600, let's keep that separate. 600 divided by 8, let's do. So, 7 times 56, 4, 0, 5 times 40, 0. 600 is a multiple of 8. The last two digits, 600 plus A4, is what we are looking at. So it would be, we are looking at numbers like 614, 624, 634, 644, 654, all of that, till 694, or 604. 600 is a multiple of 8. This is not, this is not, add 4, it won't work. Add 14, 624 is a multiple of 8. 634, no. 44, no, 54, no, 664, not a multiple of 8, or is 664 a multiple of 8, yeah, 664 is a multiple of 8, that is possible, 664 is a multiple of 8, 674 is not possible, 684 is not possible, 694 is not possible, these are not, these are not even multiples of, of 4, 684 is not a multiple of 8, so the, the last two digits, be 24 or 64. But we have a number which is 868624 or 868664. Thought about them being multiples of 16. So I can divide this by 16, I can divide this by 16 and get the remaining part. I'm going to do that. I'm going to take 868624 divided by 16. 868624 divided by 16. 16 fives are 80, lovely. 68, 16 fours are 64, lovely. 46, 16 twos are 32, nice. 1, 4, 2, 16 into 9 is 144, 16 into 8 is 128. I have 1, 4, 4 remaining. So, I have 868624 to be 16 into 54289. Lovely. 868664. I have 8686664. This number plus 40. Number of a multiple of 16. I add 16 to it, it will be a multiple of 16. I add 32 to it, it will be a multiple of 16. I add 40 to it, it won't be a multiple of 16. I don't have to worry about this. So I have to worry only about this. Or straight first step, I know A is equal to 2. Now, this 4 square, 16 I have taken care of. 230 plus x. The whole square is 5. 4, 2, 8, 9. Okay. This also is tricky. I don't know how to do this. 5, 4, 2, 8, 9 is a large number. And so, 2, 3, let me think about 200 and 
30 square 23 into 23 is 69 and 46 is 529 so 230 square is 52900 0. this is 54289 slightly bigger 240 square 24 into 24 is 576. 240 square is 57600. This number is in between these two. So we are looking at a number in the 230s. You square that, we should get 54289. So it's an odd number. So my answer is 231, 233, 235, 237, or 239. 231 into 231 will end in a 1. This ends in 9. This is out. 233 three into 233, three, that's possible. 235 into 235 will end in a 5. This is out. 237 into 237, that is possible. It will end in 239 into 239, won't work. So, our answer this number is either 233 or 237. Let me try 233, but it's not 237. 233 into 233. 3, 3, 7, 9, 9, 6, 9, 9, 6, 6, 6, 4. Let's add up this. 9, 18, 1, 10, 16, 22, 2, 2, 8, 14, 4, 1, 5, 4, 2, 8, 9. Is that what I had? Yes, true. Or this number should be 233. Or x is 3. We already found a is 2 a plus x 2 plus 3 which is 5 once again a very tough question because step by step we say hey this number should be a multiple of 16 so we get to find what a is we locate a to be 2 got a to be 2 nice now with a as 2 remove that 16 from it the remaining square works it should be between 230 and 240 233 works a nice tough challenging question lot of computation if the calculator it is simple, but otherwise also doable. Nice. We're done with the session. So now I would want all of you to, 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 to like the video and uh, subscribe to the channel, and share it, tell people how it works, all of that. And so uh, we've done a, a, a full session on non-routine questions. The mathematical Olympiad is a brilliant exercise in doing all kinds of different questions. And more than doing just questions and trying to solve them, seeing the solution is really the real deal. So I've tried to incorporate that as much as possible. Hush.